Alright everyone, what's up? In this video we're going to be taking a look at the new Scratch Live version 2.1 beta version. 2.1 is now out in public beta for you to download and try out. And uh, so let's take a look at it. Now 2.1 is mainly just a maintenance release. Um, a lot of bug fixes from the 2.0 version that was just recently released back in April. Uh, the main new feature in 2.0 was the DJ effects. That was the big new one for Scratch Live. And uh, that was a good start and all, but uh, people wanted to see more. Because uh, there was a lot of limitations with it and stuff like that. So in 2.1, they've introduced this new kind of, uh, well, there's two modes for the DJ effects now. Uh, this is the traditional uh, three-slot mode, I guess you would call. Uh, but they've implemented this new mode called the Ultranaut mode. And this basically allows you to uh, combine three effects into one, basically. And you control it with just the one knob on your MIDI controller. So uh, this is going to be the new Ultranaut uh, mode right here, the single knob one. The three knob one is going to be the traditional uh, three slot one. Now, as I mentioned, the ultra, mo ultra knob mode allows you to combine up to three effects into one, and then you control them all at the same time. Uh, I've already have it all mapped out to my MIDI controller, and as you can see, I'm just turning one knob now, and this will turn all these knobs at the same time. So what this allows you to do is combine all the various available effects uh, into one and create your own uh, unique effect. Now, Serato of already included a little preset pack of effects that you should download because uh, it includes some good ones like a single knob filter which a lot of people wanted and uh, the, abil the ability to echo out uh, a trick that a lot of people want as well. So go into the uh, 2.1 public beta area and go in this thread right here, the ultra knob effects pack and go down to the bottom and download this uh, folder right here. It's just a zip file. Uh, so here it is on my desktop. Uh, double click it to unzip it and you're just going to get another new folder. So go in here in this folder, and these are going to be the actual effects, and you're going to want to highlight all of these and copy them, and you're going to want to put them into your Scratch Live folder in your music folder, your Scratch Live, and then in the effects folder, you want to paste them all in here. All right, so make sure you do this before uh, you start up Scratch Live, or else you won't be able to get all the uh, cool effects now for the Ultra Knob Mode. So let's take a look at some of the effects they included. As I mentioned, they have a one knob filter. Uh, that was a limitation with the old 2.0 version. A lot of people wanted to have a dual uh, high pass, low pass filter with just one knob, uh, similar to the DJM 800. Uh, it has you know, a dual filter on each channel and the, uh, the range 68 as well. Uh, so let's take a listen to this. Uh, it's already set up and stuff like that. So in the middle, there'll be no filter. Turning it to the right, we'll do a high pass filter. Turning it to the left from the midpoint, we'll do a low pass filter. So you can see how the different parameters move at different times when I turn uh, my knob on my MIDI controller. So let's take a listen to it real quick. Turn up the music a little bit. Turn the effect on. So to the right, we'll do a high pass filter. To the left, do a low pass filter, like so. Okay, so that was a single knob filter. Uh, these are all the different uh, various effects that they included in that pack. They also have a one knob LFO filter effect. You're also going to notice the new beat parameter over here. Uh, if you've used any type of Pioneer DJ on Mixer, you're probably familiar with this. This just sets the beat amount for the effect. Uh, so let's uh, turn this on. This is a single knob filter. So this will do a half beat LFO. A real fast one, or you can turn it up. You can see here, it's a one, one, one and a half, two, four, etc., etc. You get the idea. So that is that. Um, a lot of popular requested one is to be able to echo out of a mix. Now, uh, it's still going to be pre-fader on your mixer, so if you drop the fader, it is still going to go out. Uh, however, now you'll be able to do the echo out of a mix trick that a lot of hip-hop DJs like to do for uh, fast mixing and transitioning from songs like that. Uh, basically, you know, set the parameter, the beat amount that you want to do the echo of. Uh, typically, most uh, people like to do a half one or a uh, one beat one. Uh, so let's take a look at this real quick. Oh, turn the effect off. So just uh, turn the knob up fully all the way and just engage the effect. And we'll do a echo up. Let me jump ahead a little bit. As you can see, the track's still playing, so you won't have to stop the uh, turntable like you had to do in 2.0. Let's 
do a one beat one. So that is how you can get a, uh, a pseudo post fader echo out mix uh, of the trick echo effect in Scratch Live 2.1. As I mentioned, it's still going to be pre fader on your mixer itself, so don't drop the fader or it will go out. But at least you'll know you get a, a sort of pseudo post fader effect now. Uh, other than that, um, you know, that's mainly the big new feature in 2.1 is the new Ultra Knob mode. Everything else is just mainly bug fixes. Um, they have announced native support for the Pioneer CDJ 900 and 2000. Uh, that's currently not in this beta version. I'll be waiting on a firmware update from Pioneer first, but uh, by the time 2.1 goes final, there should be native support uh, for the Pioneer CDJ 900 and 2000. They have also introduced native support for the new Novation Dicer mini controller which I'm sure most of you probably heard by now. There's uh, these little five or six button controllers that you just put on the little 45 adapter hole on your turntable or on your CDJ or whatever, and uh, it's just a nice little uh, five or six button MIDI controller, mainly for just controlling loops, cue points, uh, samples, stuff like that. There's no knobs or anything on it, so uh, really not good for the effects. Uh, but there is native support for the new Novation Dicer MIDI controllers that just uh, came out. And uh, let's see what else is in 2.1. Uh, if you have the SL3, there's some updates with the third auxiliary deck. As you probably know, there was no keyboard shortcuts or MIDI control for the third auxiliary deck in 2.0. Uh, well, now they've added that in 2.1. So if we go into the uh, not MIDI, go into the setup menu, and we go in the plugins tab, and let's enable the auxiliary third deck. And uh, you're going to see the flashing red boxes now around the decks. Uh, let's switch to stack mode. Now, if you want to use the keyboard shortcuts for the third deck, you're going to use your tilde key to toggle between uh, the two primary decks and the third deck. Uh, the tilde key will switch between those. And the third deck is going to use the same keyboard shortcuts as the left deck. As I mentioned, you also get uh, full MIDI control uh, with the third deck, so let's go into MIDI mode and click on the show MIDI panel, and you're going to see primary deck, which is going to be the one and two one. Our left deck, your right deck, the auxiliary deck though, that is going to be the third deck. And then here you go, you'll have all your uh, MIDI control for the third deck. You can uh, load cue points or load set cue points, trigger them, uh, load tracks to it, uh, auto loop uh, control, uh, fine pitch adjustment, etc. etc. Uh, don't forget, you can also click on the triangle down here, or any of these triangles really, and that will expand the panel and you'll get uh, uh, more MIDI controls uh, for the third deck as well. Uh, but mainly, that's pretty much it for 2.1. Uh, not a whole bunch of new features, just the new Ultra Knob effect mode and native support for the upcoming CDJ 2900, the new Novation Dicer, and MIDI controls and keyboard shortcuts for the auxiliary third deck if you have the SL3. And uh, that's pretty much it for 2.1. Go ahead and try it out. Remember, it is just a public beta version right now, it is not final, so uh, same rules apply. Don't use it at your gig, back up all your data, blah, 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 etc. etc. So, it's the first look at the new 2.1 version out now for you to download and try out.